Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Virgo, you guys got Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold, number four. They're trying to communicate a message to you with the four. I'm gonna be honest, I did a short yesterday and it was um, like a daily read, like an archetype of the week read. And the archetype for this week was the destroyer, which talks about how things have to come to an end for reasons that could be for growth, could be because, I mean, mostly for growth, right? Like things have to end so that we can grow. And this is kind of what this is feeling like. And if you want to check out that short, it's on TikTok. Um, but yeah, it's and it's interesting because yeah, it was for January 10th and then we have a ton here. Yeah. Something is coming to an end. You have the death card and the scythe. And with the scythe, it can be very painful. And I hate to like put this message out there. But what I'm getting is kind of like that destroyer energy, the archetype of the destroyer. And that archetype talks about how things ha have to kind of be... I don't want to use the word destroyed because it's such a like big word, right? Like it's it's so... It has like a connotation to it that I, I feel like is like kind of negative. Um, but I think it's meant to be something that helps us and pushes us along our path. And unfortunately, sometimes we're on the wrong path or sometimes we're on a path that is okay, but we could be on a better one. So this is kind of what this is feeling like, to be honest. Like something might come to an end and they, they want you to be brave right now, Virgo. And I know that that's like scary and <laughs> like ominous and shit. And I'm sorry, but like, I don't want to freak anybody out, but like something might be coming to an end. It could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be something like, that you care a lot about but i feel like they're trying to say like things could be better for you so that's why we're doing this so let's pull more on this or go so virgo I feel like this is not in terms of career. This is in terms of a relationship. And I feel like if you guys were to really look deeply within, you would see that this relationship puts you out of balance, whether you want to believe it or not. And I feel like you want to receive your Ten of Cups. Like you want you want this so badly to maybe be your Ten of Cups. or you. So it's kind of like, you know, you want this person to be with you. You so badly like envision like what things could be like for the future, but their actual reality of what's going on and what's taking place is not this. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like you've built someone up in your brain, in your mind, in your fantasies, but the reality of who this person is is not like they cannot provide for you what you want. And not even what you want, but what you deserve, right? So that's what I'm getting, Virgo. Like they want you to walk away from this with the three of wands. And I think that it's hard for a lot of you guys because, again, you see maybe a lot of potential with the person. But what I'm getting here is like this person puts you out of balance with the self card in reverse. Like they just put you out of balance. Maybe you've been dreaming a lot about this person. This is like my dreams card. Um, maybe you've been feeling like you've been seeing them in your dreams. So if you're not connected to them, maybe you might think like this is a sign. Oh my God, I'm seeing them in my dreams. Oh my God, I've done that before. Trust me, <laughs> it's a slippery slope to, yes, your dreams do speak to you to a certain extent, but be careful with your dreams, okay? Because like there's some people that are in our past for a reason, right? And there's some people that sh should remain in the past. So if this is somebody that you're, you haven't like spoken to yet, but you're like having a lot of dreams about them and you're thinking a lot about this person, um, my... Yeah, my, I want to say, like, be careful. Like, some people should remain in the past. Like, there's somebody here that I feel like, there's a lot of people that I feel like I'm connecting with, but I feel like there's one particular person who's, like, might be having a lot of dreams about somebody. It's like, oh, my God, I've been dreaming about them every day. Like, what does that mean? Um, I feel like this might be, just because you're dreaming about them doesn't necessarily mean you should hit them up. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes they're you're dreaming about them because they're thinking about you or they're dreaming about you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should hit them up.
I want to know more about this desire card in reverse. Um, hold on, Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. Um, I'm getting that this is not your knight in shining armor. Like, this is not the person that you're supposed to be with. With desire in reverse, how do I know that? Because they don't put you in... Okay, like, they make you maybe feel insecure, right? They make you feel maybe a little bit panicked. Um, maybe they, they don't bring security into your life because they don't want to commit or... Whatever they do, it's not it's not making you better. Do you know what I'm saying? It's it's making things worse for you. So like you might go to work more stressed out now. Like you might feel like it's excitement to have this person around, but what I'm getting is like you're confusing excitement with like other emotions that are the the real emotions. So like maybe this person texts you and yeah, that's exciting, but what I'm getting is like This is the thing I'm getting. Like, a lot of you guys might be very, like, you know, I go to work, I go home. I go to work, I go home. And this person brings a level of excitement in the fact that, like, they deviate, you deviate from your schedule. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to go visit them. You know what I mean? Oh, my God, I'm going to go see this person. So exciting, right? Like, I'm, I, I have something to do today, right? Virgo, just because someone's, like, inviting you to hang out doesn't mean that, like, they're a good person. You know what I'm saying? Um, or that they have good intentions for you. That's what I'm getting. And, like, this desire... Um, in reverse we have the sun in reverse the five of swords in reverse the knight of cops in reverse the star in reverse with the strength card i feel like the only thing that you could do right now to if you keep like this person how do i explain it like you're the only person i feel like that is that like the reason this relationship has continued is because maybe of you like if you were to just stop speaking to this person maybe once or twice you stop like texting this person this person might not ever you might not ever hear from them again because i don't feel like their love is that deep for you to be honest um i feel like what they see from you and i hate to say this because i'm also a virgo but i see it in myself and i see how like i can just see you guys doing the same shit as me in a sense where i feel like virgos are very reliable <laughs> we're very reliable like we're not people that are gonna not text you back and we're not people who are gonna say like we're not flaky you know what i mean so if like you know you need somebody there we'll be there for you even if we like don't like you at all right like a virgo i feel like cares in a, in a in a sense that they'll be there to a certain extent right and like i don't feel like we ghost people like i, I don't know i could be talking to <laughs> A group of Virgos who feel differently but I personally feel like we're very reliable and that's why I feel like this person kind of keeps you around because of that reliability but that's not a reason that that doesn't make like a romance in heaven that doesn't make like a ten of cups okay like oh Virgo's reliable let me just hit up Virgo whenever the fuck I feel like it because I'm feeling like shit like that's that's you seeing somebody and that's kind of the opposite of what you need Virgo so yeah this person is going to leave you out in the cold this person is going to i don't i don't even know if this is something that they're warning you against or this is just the reality of this relationship this person makes you feel left out in the cold this person makes you feel like you're trapped like they make you feel alone so it's like yeah they might hit you up from time to time but they're not consistent and they're not somebody that i feel like you should keep talking to Virgo so um I feel like this is the future with this person this is not a good future like energy five of coins like being left out in the cold eight of swords and this might be um where you're at right now because like you thought like that you shouldn't talk to this person you thought that like maybe I shouldn't be around them but you continued anyway I'm getting like if this is where you're at right now like in a five of coins feeling abandoned having hadn't you haven't heard from this person in a long time you feel like you know this person has just left you out in the cold um this is a good thing because this is the time for you to put an ending to this so you might feel like you don't have the power in the situation Virgo but you do because you can just not answer this person and I know like again Virgos are reliable and Virgos just give a fuck but this is not the time for any of those things this is the time to walk away 
So that's why you are getting be fearless and be bold. Badger spirit. Look up a badger. Um, that could be an animal that's really trying to help you at this time. Okay. Yeah. Ace of cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck with the seven of cups. This is not a love made in, like a love match at all. I don't know what, what like what I'm trying to say with this, but this is just not this is not it, Virgo. Okay. Let's play you some advice. Wow, Virgo. Look what you're getting. Raise your vibration. So you see what I'm saying? Like this person puts you in this low energy. And now you feel like you have to raise your vibration because, you know, um, like a person that you're with should not make you feel this way, right? And have and you shouldn't have to constantly like raise your vibe. You shouldn't have to constantly like um, have to check yourself and, and be like, okay, like now I have to raise my vibration. Like that's not what this should be about. Like you should be with someone who makes you feel better if anything not worse so i feel like this is a very low vibe person and again they make you feel like this this is just not good virgo and i know i feel like people have told you this like stop talking to this person like i feel like it's not the first time you've heard this um but i feel like there's something else to this card where it's like you not being at a high vibe keeps you like how do i explain this if your like vibration is very low then i feel like you might just attract somebody also very low and sometimes it's the opposite like you're very low and you attract someone who's very high but i'm getting with this read like your very your vibration might be low at this time and this person just makes it lower and lower and you know when you're sad and you're crying and you're you know whatever you're feeling this five of pentacles and you're feeling all alone and you're lonely that only makes this person more able to come into your life because you're alone you know what i mean and you're feeling sad and you're feeling trapped and this person is like oh like a, some sort of relief they offer you like oh my god they're hitting me up like that's just what i need but that's what i'm getting like if you don't put yourself at a high vibration then this person will always have the door to coming in like will always be welcome so this is about you raising your own vibration so that like when this person does hit you up you don't feel the need to answer them you don't feel like oh my god like i do want to go hang out with this person or i do need to see this person this person will make me feel better no if you're already in a good mood and you're already in a positive state you won't need this person so or feel like you need them right because they need you more than you need them but you don't see it that way so again that's why you need to raise your vibration so that's what I'm getting, Virgo. I love you guys. I hope this helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.